right guys, we are at our local grocery store. Let me show you what we got so far. We got, this is what I fed the kitties, but we got some um, mozzarella Italian style meatballs and some pork spare ribs so far. Babe is in there. We were just coming to take a quick look. Um, he's actually in there, so we're gonna see what else is in there. All right, oh, whoa. Bacon. Looks like we got Applewood smoked bacon. Mm -hmm. And whatever that is, thick sliced bacon. It's all in that little sack down there. Oh my goodness, how many did they throw away? These are frozen too, like cold. Goodness. I thought they threw away like 15 or 20 of these. Wow. Just an abundance. It doesn't expire until a couple of days. So I guess that's probably what they had left in the back. Whatever. Yeah, we can freeze it uh, before it expires. You know, that's good because it stocks us back up on bacon because, you know, we just gave. Remember? Yeah. We gave a um, quite a bit of bacon out. Oh, you know what? And I like to have some bacon. Nobody's been here. They do this extra. This, this is stuff they threw out. Oh, wow. That bread is still here. Oh, okay. I see the other one. It fell. And oh, I told yeah. you that was gonna happen too. They gonna throw something that's gonna fall on it. Let me go ahead and take this box. Yeah, oh, okay, it. maybe not with one hand though. A lot of bacon. All right, guys, got the bacon in the car. This is such a good score. I love finding. I told you guys that before. I love finding butter. I love finding bacon. I love finding cheese. I don't know why that just does something to me but we got quite a bit here I'll show you the rest of it once we get home yeah guys there's a different dumpster diver that comes and we've seen him you know we've actually made friends with him he's cool but he's the one I told you we uh, saw him up here and we struck up a conversation and he was talking like so loud. They opened the door. It was just a whole mess. So anyway, it's him that he comes and just makes such a mess inside and outside the dumpster. So we can always tell when he's been here because, geez, Louise. It looks like this. Yeah, it's just stuff everywhere. Like I said, in, out, up, down, just tons of stuff. Beef. Yeah, I forgot to tell you guys. Oh, I never took that out the freezer. Yeah, it's probably frozen by now. I was going to take it out the freezer to cut up, guys, but I got started editing and it just didn't happen. You. Ooh. Yay. Got those. Will you look under there? It almost looks like a ham package somewhere. Yeah. Some sirloin. Sirloin. This is becoming a nice little meat haul, you guys. Sausages. Uh -huh. There's some more bologna down there too. Ooh, where are my gloves? That's oh, this is uh spicy. Spicy sausage. <laughs> not that. The cheese is not supposed to be green. Not that green. Oh. Yeah, some more bologna under there. Looks like it may be one more. Move some of those chips. Uh, hold on. Wow, there's one more under there too. 
All right, guys, I think we're good at this grocery store. We're about to go ahead and head to Aldi's. I saw another stray cat, so I'm gonna stop and feed him real quick. And then we're gonna head to Aldi's and I will let you know what we got there. Hey guys, so we are at Aldi's. We are at Aldi's. Yeah, so we're at Aldi's and just gonna look and see what's in here. I've already picked out a few things here. Let's see what else is in here. Let's see these. Oh, those are lentils. Huh? Okay. I poked a hole in this kidney. Oh, you poked a hole? Well, I kind of had. That's okay. What are those? Pork chops? Yeah. Well, yeah. It's kind of had a hole. I definitely smell pickles. Alright guys, not a ton at Aldi's, but a pretty good haul, and I will show you what we got, then we will be going home and I'll show you what we got. Alrighty guys, so we just got back home, just going to give you guys a brief little pan over everything that we got, and let's just hop straight into it. So to start with, we got, what is it, one, two, three, four, five, five packs of the turkey bologna. And I told you, we usually pretty much just use this for kitty food at this point. Um, this expires all tomorrow. But yeah, we have five packs of this. We have two packs of the assorted pork chops. These were from Aldi's. And... Yeah, looks good. Bone in assorted pork chops. We have some deli fresh smoked uncured ham down here. Nice little pack sealed, not opened. Looks good. We also have a pack or a package of yellow squash here. Looks like this comes with the five various sizes of squash in here so this is good to cut and freeze but yeah this is from Aldi's as well now all three of these are from Aldi's we have the organic red split lentils we have the dairy-free mozzarella cheese and then we have the green lentils looks like both of the lentils or let's see they are organic, both the red and the green. So that's interesting. I don't, we don't really eat lentils a whole lot, just to be honest with you. It says it's a good source of iron and a good source of fiber. So yeah, I need to look up some recipes because I know that they are super good for you. We just don't eat them. So we also have a pack of the 9010 sirloin uh, ground beef here. We have two little packages of the Ranch House Country Style Sausage, and that is in spicy for both, which is good because you guys saw in the last video, we actually gave some of our hot sausage away um, when we were just kind of giving, so that's good. Looks like we are stocking back up, and Babe is really the only one that eats that. I don't eat spicy sausage, so a little bit will go a long ways here. We have some of the Hormel uh, pork spare ribs here. Looks like these are $20 ribs. So we're about to stick these in the freezer immediately. Oh, another Toki bologna that I missed. We have some Carando, is that it? Uh, mozzarella Italian style meatballs. That actually looks pretty good. I'm not a meatball person, but that really looks good. I feel like we can put some spaghetti with this, some sauce, and yeah, that would be good. Now, from Big Lots, you guys never really see us at Big Lots. We went during the day this time, 
And let me show you what we got. We got a pack of these straws. Looks like a pack of 50, I believe. We have two signs. It was actually three there, but one was broken. This one states that it's so good to be home. This one states enjoy every moment. I thought these were cute. So even though the third one, I forgot what it said, but even though it was broken, I still think that we can do something eventually with these two. So I wanted to grab them just in case. Um, let's see, also from Big Lots, these little baskets, and they are like, well, they're kind of stuck, so I can't get them out, but they're black baskets. They have a wooden bottom, and on this little tab right here, it's actually a chalkboard type material, so you can write and label whatever you want in chalk, and this comes with one, two, three, four, four of these on here, and it looks like... Oh, it looks like it was a two-pack that retails for $12 at Big Lots. So, we're going to figure out how to get this apart. And I thought this was a great find, especially for when we move with some pantry organization. So, I was pretty excited to find that. Um, also, at our local grocery store, we got um, some of the Land of Frost Bistro favorites. And this is just honey glazed uncured ham. Looks like three of them down there. We actually got three more, but we stopped and fed a new bunch of kitties that we saw kind of in a different area on the way to Aldi's. Um, so yeah, so they took up three of them. And then last but not least from our local grocery store, look at this mountain of bacon. It, it's not even showing up on camera how much it truly is. This is a ton of bacon. So it looks like we have the thick sliced bacon here, as well as the, what is this? Thick sliced Applewood smoked bacon. Okay. So all of these expire today. Let's see. Yeah, all of these expire today. So we're just going to go through, put them up, all of that good stuff. And let me count and see how many we have. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ooh, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15. So 15 packs of bacon in here. That's a really good find. And like I told you guys, we just gave a ton of bacon away. So this is super, super helpful. It stocks us back. I don't need, I didn't even count to see how many we gave away. I don't know. Oh, how many we got? We got 15. Yeah. So I know we didn't give 15. So once again, Sometimes when you give, you just get more. So this is today's haul, guys. Definitely comment down below. Let me know what you thought of the haul. Also, let me know your favorite part of the haul. Let me stack this bacon over here so you can see everything else. Let's see. There we go. Okay. I'll just throw that back there. It's fine. So, yeah. This is the haul. Definitely comment down below. Let me know your favorite part of the haul tonight. If I had to pick a favorite, honestly, it'd probably be the bacon. Either the bacon or these baskets because I just think they are so cute here. But don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy the content. And I will see you in the next video. Bye, guys. Say bye, babe. Bye. Bye.